I want you to understand the difference between sigma bonds and pi bonds. Electrons orbit the outermost part of atoms, and each electron has its own region of space or territory where it's most likely to be found. These territories are called orbitals. Orbitals come in different shapes and sizes, but if the orbitals of two different atoms overlap and share electrons, that's called a covalent bond. So imagine that you have an orbital that's dumbbell-shaped. The nucleus is in the very center. This region of space is where electrons are most likely to be found if they're assigned to this orbital. A covalent bond is when an orbital from this atom overlaps with an orbital from another atom. One way in which we could get orbitals to overlap is this head-to-head -head overlap. This particular orientation is called a sigma bond. Now, different orbitals on the same atom repulse each other. They don't like overlapping. So these two blue balloons, these would be one dumbbell-shaped orbital. But you can see that I have a green orbital and a purple orbital, and they are all pointing in different directions. In this particular example, they happen to be 90 degrees from each other. It can differ depending on what atom we're talking about. So imagine that you had two of these atoms, and you already had a sigma bond formed, a head-to-head -head overlap between two of the orbitals, and you want to form a second bond. Imagine getting these green orbitals to overlap. You are not going to be able to keep this sigma bond and still get green orbitals to overlap in this head-to-head -head configuration. An additional bond is going to have to be a lateral or side-to-side -side overlap. So if you wanted your green orbitals to overlap maintaining this sigma bond, they would need to be this side-to-side -side overlap. This is called a pi bond. So if two atoms have only one bond between them, it's a sigma bond. If they have a double bond, there's one sigma bond, one pi bond. If there's a triple bond, it's one sigma bond, two pi bonds. So in any bond, there is always one sigma bond, and additional bonds are pi bonds.